Happy Sunday, traders. I'm excited to share my top swing trading ideas with you all for the upcoming week. Now, following the Fed's interest rate decision on Wednesday, the market finally picked a direction after a nice eight-day consolidation and rest period. Um, and my top idea from last week played out exceptionally well with the semi-industry and sector breaking out and following through quite nicely to the upside. Now, as the market continues to surge to new heights, my focus is on fresh breakouts and momentum trades. Although I am cautious here, things are beginning to get a little bit frothy and a little bit overbought with a lot of names and overbought territory. But until it stops working, my focus is going to continue to remain on the long side and specifically with setups that have been working over the previous several months. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. I'm going to share my top ideas with all of you, my trading plans for stocks that I believe could make significant directional moves for the upcoming week. Now, the first idea is going to be a consolidation breakout in NTNX. Now, NTNX, this, this really is a textbook consolidation breakout pattern. Um, you know, in a stock that's been in a very nice steady uptrend for quite some time, we've seen multiple breakouts resulting in nice upward momentum and steady walks higher above a rising five-day moving average. So, you know, this stock does have a nice history of breaking about above consolidations and having multiple days of continuation to the upside. Um, so my time frame for this particular stock and the setup is going to be up to a full week with a trailing stop as I look for history to repeat itself now that we find ourselves in a nice steady consolidation above rising key moving averages. So here's the exact plan. So from the daily chart, down to the hourly chart, we can see that the time frame aligns across multiple time frames, and we can see that key levels shine through, which is something that I really like for this particular setup. I'd like multiple time frames to align. Now, if we go back to the daily chart, we can see that 65 is a very key and obvious breakout level. If we can break above and hold above last week's high, and basically what I want to see is I want to see us not only break above, but I want to see an increase in volume and I want to see some time spent with authority above that level. If that happens, I'm going to look to get long with a stop at the low of day or below the most recent higher low on the 15 minute time frame. The 15 minute time frame is how I'm going to be trading the stock. I'm going to be trading it on that 15 minute time frame. Now, the lofty goal, should we get that desired entry? Should I get the entry that I'm looking for? The lofty goal is going to be a move up to $70. However, I do plan to scale out of this position as it trades up an ATR. So I'm going to look to scale out of the position above 65. If we can get a push towards 67 and a half, ATR I believe is around 220. Um, so we get a move towards 67, 67, 50. I'm going to look to scale out of the position. From there, I'm going to be trailing my stop using higher lows on the 15 minute time frame with the final and lofty target to be around. 70. Now that is a final lofty target. I'm going to use my discretion along the way. If we make lower highs, if we break that higher low on the 15 minute time frame, that trend, I'll get out of the remainder of the position. And as I said, first area I'm looking at is 67.50 for new highs um, to begin to scale out of the position. Now the next setup I have is an ARM, is an arm. Now once again, this is also a fantastic textbook consolidation, a nice wedge pattern with clear support, clear resistance with, for this wedge. And, you know, while a lot of the talk has been about lockup expiration um, and bias has, you know, just looking online has, has shifted largely, um, you know, quite bearishly, the stock has held firm and it's continued to consolidate with, with its range contracting. So overall, I'm unbiased here and I'm just looking to react pretty exclusively to price action. Price action's king and I'm looking to simply react to price action. So what is my exact plan in arm? Well, the key area here is going to be 138 above last week's high, above the resistance of this wedge to 140. So basically I'm looking, again, multiple time frames do align here. I'm looking for the stock to break above that zone with some authority, with some volume, and with staying power. I want to see some high lows and consolidation above this area, which for me would signal a change of character because every time we've tried to break out above previous week's high, we've seen selling and we've seen failure. So if we can hold above that zone, that would signal um, a change of character for me, and it would definitely get me very interested. So I'll look to enter long with reduced size 
um, you know, what I believe to be, what I assume will be a pretty wide stop given the stock's ATR um, around eight. Um, so I'm going to be trading at reduced size, wider stop. It's going to be near the day's low. That's where I would be wrong, essentially. So it's going to be smaller size or wider stop because I'm going to give the stock some room to breathe and for the idea to play out. I don't want to overmanage something like this. Um, now, my first target is going to be a move toward around 145. So in this region up to 150, which, you know, between 150 and 145, we have seen some resistance. We have seen some selling and supply. So I suspect that the stock could have a little bit of trouble there. That's going to be the first area that I look to trim the position, to take risk off of the table and to lock in some profits. So from there, my stop is going to be trailed similar to my previous idea on the 15 minute time frame using higher lows. And the final target for me is going to be a move toward sort of 160 to 164, although I am going to be scaling out of this manually as it makes new higher highs on the 15 minute time frame. And again, I'll use my discretion, but the final lofty goal is going to be towards the high as we approach 160 to 164, 165 within this zone. That's where I'm going to be looking to scale out of the remainder of the position over multiple days. Then I have two sort of back burner additional, additional ideas. The first one's going to be in YTEN. The stock you can see has a history of popping and failing, popping and failing. Last week we popped and failed on a good amount of volume. And let's put on the VWAP instead. Go to a lower time frame. Let's go to five minutes. Um, essentially, with, with Whiten, I'm just targeting a push back into potential supply zone where we failed from intraday, and there could be significant overhead. So for me, that's going to be between sort of this 55 as we come into these areas from Thursday, 55 up to 60, up to 65. I suspect that there could be um, a lot of supply and selling in these areas if we do get a push up. So essentially looking for a push into these areas, failure intraday, a clear level to risk against, and looking to ride it back down to 40 and 30s. And then the final one is a name from Friday, the Friday that popped up on no significant news that I could find. Traded a good amount of volume, nice failure off of the highs. And if we can push above what will become the two-day VWAP back in over three, back towards kind of 318, 320s, first area that I could see some significant selling and overhead. Um, if we get that fail intraday and a nice level to risk against, we put on a short position there and look to ride it back down. So I have two main ideas, two back burner ideas, and of course things will pop up during the week that I formulate new plans for, for the rest of the week and potentially for the, the following week. Um, so those are my main ideas, main focuses. Let me know if I should have included anything else. Drop it in the comments um, and let me know if there's anything else that you're watching and keeping tabs on um, while things further develop and set up, possibly for the days or even weeks ahead. And Good luck for the upcoming week, and I will see you all again next week. So you're an active trader, not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve, and you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition, the traders in this room. This room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each and net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles, trading gurus, trading off of a laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day, and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets, and are continually working on their trading skills. Because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafieri, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan. And we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that, allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and gaining access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part, 
you don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.